Welcome dear traders. This is the weekly MK web summary. We're looking at the forecast analysis trades of the week. This channel is focused on trading and on FX. Today is Sunday the 8th of October. It's around half past eight. Markets are opening in a few hours. Today was a bit of a turbulent day next to the war in Ukraine. We also have now escalations between Hamas and Israel. So that's dominating the headlines. Anyways, get start, let's get started and let's look at Euro dollar. So on the 29th of September, we see we had this situation which is well known. So the market came down all the way against the long is, <coughs> excuse me, over days and weeks. Okay, the Dominic kept on buying, kept on trying to trade a reversal up and therefore the Algos saw that and pushed Euro dollar down again and again against those Dominic longies. Then on the second, we had a pullback to fill those two option strike targets as well as the order gap zone by the pip. Look at this precision. And from there, we had a bit of a trend resumption against the Dominic longies. Then on the fourth, we had a new inner range MTS above the price. So pullback towards there. And uh, the market was going a little bit flat in between. It took this MTS then as expected. And on the sixth, it also took the M30 medium term stop above the price. Suck. And went down from there with the news. Look at this precision again. Okay. This is true precision. Went down and took the lower one. Playing Pac Man there. Okay. So this is how the market then looked like on the day chart at the end of the week. So you see the trend downwards continued with the pullback at the end of the week against the shorties. Okay. Nothing new. Okay. And also take note of how the dumb money flow switch from long to short. So that, that allowed for the pullback up to take all the targets shown. Let's continue. Pound dollar. So first it did a pullback to fill the one, two, three, four option strike targets. Okay. Then it filled the opposite option strike target with precision. Uh, then it took the lower MTS there with a new MTS then. All nice short trade there. And then with a new uh, option strike target as well. So on the fourth, it took the upper in a range MTS with a pullback that was very tradable. A long trade there. Then on the fifth, we had MTS on both sides. And you also look uh, look at the four-hour chart. You can see how it went down against the long is similar to Euro dollar, but then as there was some kind of dominant switch to the shorties, okay, this four-hour energy took over and allowed for this pullback. And therefore, they took also the upper MTS, the medium term stop in the market on the 6th. Okay. After that, straight down to the lower one playing Pac Man. So, some nice trades there, not very complex. Okay. Euro pound. So, we had the upper MTS there. Of course, this one got taken. And uh, then, suck, here we go at 13 past 4. <coughs> Then we had a down move. The next day we had an up move to fill the option uh, sorry, the order gap zone and the MTS. Okay, and remember the scenario overall on the day chart. So we went to the 200 day moving average. Okay, then we did the money switch from shorties to longies. So therefore they went down, cleared the lower moving average. Okay. All right, Australian dollar. In a nutshell, it did this for all reversal up against the shorties at the beginning of the week to clear the day chart moving average. But you see then we had a big, big for all reversal down against the longies. Okay, look at the expanding squeeze line in the four hour chart here. And also note this kind of V pattern, all right? So you could either say this is a post grail move, post grail pattern move, or you could say this was actually a V pattern and then the big reversal. So on the lower time frames, we see how with precision they took the lower MTS. Nice trade there. And then kind of leveled out. Kiwi dollar a bit similar. First did the pullback up to clear the moving averages. Then went back down like here to take the order gap zone and 
two of them actually and the MTS below the price so nice short trade there then we had open um, option strike targets and an MTS above the price on the third therefore an up move towards those targets okay nice trade there nice long trade those get taken so yeah also there are some nice trade opportunities this week you see how repetitive things are okay dollar cut so took these beautiful mts below the price as we had predicted before that was a great trade and uh, you see on the day chart however how overall we had shorties dominating therefore they went up and cleared the highs once more in dollar cut i didn't trade that one uh, but then again, we had some longies coming in, and as you see, as you can see, some kind of fall reversal down going on. So down money switch from shorties to longies. The high has been cleared twice, and shorties are leaving the market. So dollar cut looks slightly bearish now. Yeah, that's the theme for next week. Dollar yen. So you remember this whole uh, theme going on, this huge gray pattern on the day chart against the down money shorties, the LTS getting taken out, and all that stuff. So here is in the lower time frames with this massive house cleaning move. Okay, uh, I will talk about that now when we come to the other yen pairs. And then boom, look at that nice, beautiful MTS order gap zone move. Zack back to the top against those shorties. But yeah, let's talk about that. So pound yen, you see, we had the upper MTS. Okay, it was taken, and then after that, boom, with this massive down move. All right, look at that. The if there is such a fat finger event, however they want to call it, it's always against the overall down money. And the overall down money was long. You see, longies were expanding, so this goes against those longies. It's a stop hunt, even on the higher time frames, a clear out of the longies, okay? Even the ones who had the stops far away, they get killed with such a nice, uh, a nasty move, I, I mean, yeah? So see how aggressive the smart money sometimes is. And then after reversal, okay, filling the order gap zone, Taking the upper MTS and all that stuff, okay? Against those shorties who try to trade some kind of reversal down. Of course, they went up against the shorties, all right? Nice long trade there. Took the upper targets, okay? And took the uh, moving averages. But that is what the smart money does. Now and then they even play unfair and do an exaggerated move against the dumb money, okay? So this is always against the dumb money. Euro yen is a similar thing, okay? Also here, they did, of course, this... Um, first they did the MTS run. Then they had the four reversal going down against the longies, but then they had some boom. Look at that. Okay. On the third. Longies were in the market, expanding longies. So boom, down against them, taking all the stops. That is what Forex is about, right? An exaggerated move against those dumb money buyers. And you cannot be one of them. We causality traders, we MCA traders, we are on the opposite side, if at all. But we do not get hunted like that because we are we see what's happening in the market, okay? So we are not stop hunted. So what happens? They fill the order gap zone, they go up, shorties come in. So of course, it's an easy long trade here on the six, like I wrote, okay, reaching for the upper MTS. Easy long trade, one of the best trades. Boom, okay? Nice and exactly to the target. Nice profit there, okay? With for our reversal energy. These are some of the best trades, okay? You need to understand that. Anyways, okay, let's continue. Euro Aussie. So, there the MTS got taken at the beginning of the week. Two nice ones, beautiful. Okay, then they broke even that level on the next day. We have the overall the market rather empty, but the moving average is there, which got hunted. Similar in pound Aussie, okay. Down move against the longies, squeeze against the longies downwards, so taking out the moving averages. But then uh, longies were kicked out, so a re fall reversal takes place on the 4th, and they at least visit the upper band of the range, okay? The market is empty. Longies and shorties are both killed after those crazy moves. That's how this works. Bitcoin. So we had this MTS, as you rem uh, remember. They took the upper MTS, okay? So f they went for it. Um, Went exactly down from there. Look at the precision here. <coughs> then went for the lower one. And this continues, okay? Gold. Still long as we're in the market on the 29th. They went all the way down. Look at that, this big stop of the longies. They went for a big kill against the longies to make long story short, yeah? 
At some point, most longies were kicked out, but they went for another attack of the low, just clearing everything out. We do not buy when we see the longies. Silver, you remember, with this aggressive move. So they continued also against those Domani buyers, like here the third of October. Longies came in the green bars, so the smart money went further down against them, took their stops, and all the way, Longies are actually expanding and buying more. So they went for it, okay? This is how this works. So this was quite a good week. Uh, some really nice trade setups. Um, most of you must have done well. So we had OSTs, MTS moves, auto gap zone moves. We had several trades with for our reversal energy, okay? We had very precise moves to the targets by the pip. All the best.